Okay, hey you guys. So in this video or in this live, I'm gonna be doing my makeup. I'm gonna try out. I'm gonna try out the e.l.f. primer, the Power Grip Primer. Let me put more. It does feel pretty sticky. I never had a primer that feels sticky. I usually use like creamy ones. That, I don't know how I feel about it. It's like once it dries, it's hard to continue um, distributing it in my face. All right, grip makeup and help even skin tone with this 4% niacinamide. Infuse clear gel primer use from your tips to apply. Oh, I was supposed to pat it into my skin. Okay. Use fingertips to apply and pat into skin. Allow to set for 30 seconds to absorb and activate grip prior to makeup application. Mm. Well, I already messed up, but I feel like that wouldn't really matter. It's still sticky. Like, you can see how sticky it looks. My face looks, like, oily. Okay, well, I like how it makes the makeup glide so far. I put too much concealer. I want to color my natural hair to any tips. The tips I have is don't repeatedly bleach your hair. I bleach my hair. I, I root for bleaching. I'm not one of those people that's against it. But you just have to know what you're doing. Like if you don't necessarily know what you're doing when it comes to bleaching your hair, use 20 dip volume and then keep working your way like and processes so me i use 30 volume and it took me two bleaches to get my hair to this color but i let my hair be i bleached it in january i think and then in march i bleached it again like you have to moisturize your hair you got a deep condition you got to leave your hair alone bleach it if it's not to the color that you want yet you have to slowly build your way to it thank you yeah you have to slowly build your way to it so i recommend slowly building your way if you don't feel comfortable using high volume developers like 30 and 40 i don't i never use 40 i normally use 30 but if you're not used to you know using developers i would say start with 20 and just work your way up and you gotta work fast because bleach works fast I may do a video on how I color my hair, so I would say subscribe. I just realized I'm in pure silence. I'm waiting for my iPad to charge a little, you guys. <laughs> That's hilarious. I really am in pure silence. <laughs> Y'all hear that? It get a little nice out and motherfuckers don't know how to act. <laughs> Thank you. I took out my twist late last night around like 1, 2 in the morning. I felt impulsive and I couldn't sleep. So I took out my twist and then I did my little wash routine last night. Um, And what you call it. So this is, I guess you could say, I would consider it first day here because I did do it like 2 in the morning. But I guess you could say it's first day here. But yeah. But my hair normally isn't even this length. Like, I stretch it out. So that's why I said subscribe to my YouTube because all my little tips and tricks I'm going to be posting on my YouTube. <laughs> thank you, Jen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I love, like, red type of colors. So, like, burgundy, red, orange. I love those different hues. So I know that maroon color was fire. I just know it. But I'm a Leo. My big three is actually in Leo. My big three is Leo. So I'm Leo, sun, moon, rising. And yeah. I feel like you could tell by the hair that I'm a Leo. I wouldn't necessarily. Well, yeah, I guess. I guess we're a little self-centered. We're pretty selfish, I would say. It's like, you know, I feel like everybody should view life as... You know, it's my world and everybody else is living in it. And I feel like 
I live by that. I feel like Leos in general live by that. Like, this is my life and y'all living in it. I'm about to take my clips and clip my hair back more. Because it is getting in the way. I usually use um, a beauty blender, but lately I've been loving the brush. Once my iPad gets a little charged, you guys, I'm going to um, play some music. But I'm sort of worried about it. Thank you, Cabrisha. I'm sort of worried about it. Cause I want to upload this on YouTube and I do not want to get, um, copyrighted. I feel so awkward doing my makeup on camera. <laughs> I feel so awkward. It's so out of my norm. It's like if I'm on live not doing readings, I feel like I'm out of my norm. But I'm trying to branch off to other things. So we're going to rock with it. Regardless of feeling awkward or not, we're going to rock with it. I might do a super bright under eye today. put this much concealer because this is way light i was really only supposed to put a little bit I, the tiktok girlies taught me about the pressed powder if y'all in this live hit that like button i'm almost done with my makeup so i will start the readings once i finish i'm almost done i'm debating if i want to do lashes or mascara bake so I'm not gonna bake lately I've been using I had this palette since I was like probably 15 <laughs> maybe not 15 maybe like 16 17 but lately I've been using it beat up and everything but lately I've been using this color mixed with that color for my contour so that color and this color and it's been working good. Like, it's so pigmented. I love Juvia, Juvia's um, palettes. I actually need to get me a few more. I dab it on my face because, well, you can't really see on camera, but it's super pigmented. I tap it on there and then I blend it out. Because it's too pigmented for me to, like, actually blend it out in one. No, I got to tap that thing. I don't really contour with my jaw or my cheekbone because my cheekbones is already strong. Yeah, it is my full time. Um, I got into bartending in January and I literally quit it in March. I used to be a hookah girl. My side job was um hookah at the clubs and at restaurants. So it was like my readings is full time and then my... The hookah was part-time. Then I ended up quitting the hookah last summer. 
So I was just over it, the party scenes and all that. I was just over it. And then I applied to a restaurant, which I thought restaurant vibes was calm. I don't know if it was that specific restaurant or if restaurants are like that in general, but it literally felt like I was working back at the club. Like after a certain time, they brought a DJ in and it literally like turned into a club. So I quit it. But yeah, reading's been my full time for maybe three years now, two or three. Once I created my website, that's when I took it real serious. I normally don't contour my nose, but I don't know why I'm feeling like contouring it today. Ooh, I'm here for it, a little Q and A. So was I afraid of the consistency from clients booking slash not booking? I was, but I made it my full time once, once it was consistent. So I've been doing readings, I wanna say for like four or five years now, maybe even six. So the first few years, I wanna say for the first two years, I took it serious, but I didn't make it my full time because I wanted to make sure that, you know, it was consistent enough to pay my bills. And then once it became consistent and I realized like, okay, it's been a few years, like it's been consistent. I haven't like, even if I lost clients, I gained more clients. Like once I realized, okay, I could live off of this, that's when I went full force. But I didn't make it my full time, like off rip. Mm -mm. I feel like, like if you wanted to get into like cosmetology and things like that, I feel like it would be easier to make that your full time. I feel like you wouldn't have to wait years working another job and working that. Cause that's something that, you know, people want. Like if you do nails or lashes or hair, like that's something that people need. With readings, that's not a necessity. That's like a luxury or for some that's like a hobby. So it's like, I had to make sure I could, I could live off this, I could do this and I could make it happen. And then once I did, I was like, yep, it's over with. But I always say go for entrepreneurship if that's something that you want to do. I always say it because it's rewarding. It's rewarding and as stressful as it could be, it's also relaxing knowing like you can do everything on your own time. The thing about lashes too, like, it's a part of cosmetology and a lot of people book it, like it, enjoy it, want it. But I would also say it's not a luxury. So I would say don't start off your prices super low, but just be mindful like it's not a luxury and it's inflation. Cause I used to get my lashes done a lot, but now it's like with inflation whooping everybody ass. It's like if, I, if I'm not doing nothing important, like boom, vacation, I'll get my lashes done. But like day to day, every day, I don't get my lashes done no more because everybody is upping their prices. And it's like, you gotta, you gotta book like every two weeks, three weeks. So it's like 150 plus 200. Some people even charge more than that for something that you gotta get every two weeks. So I would recommend start your prices low. And that's even what I did with my readings. I built my clientele. And then once I made it my full-time job, that's when I was like, okay, I have to up this. I probably up my prices like probably twice or three times since um I started reading. So my prices is still affordable because once again, it's a luxury. Like it's something some people view as necessary and some people view as fun. For the ones that's joining, hit that like button, you guys. Hit that like button. I'm almost done with my makeup, which means I will start on the reading. Probably like 10 more minutes. 
So, so far, I actually like the e.l.f. primer. I'm not gonna lie. The foundation was a little hard to, um, to what you call it, to blend. But besides that, I really like it. You can sort of see a difference. This video was a little makeup um, video, not even a tutorial really, because I didn't really speak about what I was doing and the products that I used, but this was just me doing my makeup. This was sort of a review of the e.l.f. primer. I actually do like it. It was a little difficult blending in my foundation, but other than that, like it had a really good grip. But doing my brows, it had a nice, glide i guess you could say but doing my foundation it was a little too a little too grippy to where i couldn't really blend it out well i had to keep doing like different layers but so far i like it so thanks for watching guys and bye